at those altitudes the barometric pressures are low and because of that there are a lot of biochemical reactions in your body and it becomes almost impossible to live a normal life there every second you've got to think how am i going to survive this next second bullet apart it was the nature that we had to fight to survive in those circumstances the importance of this greening the importance of planting trees the importance of having trees and the importance of having clean water really struck me hard and when abhishek came to me to ask me whether i would help him in this beautiful venture of his i said i would gladly do so because i had realized my mistake thank god i did it in this lifetime and thank god because of which probably i will be able to put in some in my own humble way some effort to correct all those wrongs that we have all collectively done firstly look at the forestation and deforestation i believe there are almost 30 million hectares of forest in india out of which every day we are losing 1.5 million hectares of forest because of absolutely unfettered cutting of trees by people all over all over the place then 14 major rivers we have huge rivers like the brahmaputra the ganga the ganga water is supposed to be the ganga jal when a man is dying it's supposed to be so pure that will purify his soul and that's given to him as ganga jal today if you give even a healthy man ganga jal he will surely die what have we done to our rivers you see the rivers that are flowing in pune the mula and mutha i remember my old days when i was a young kid i used to love going to the small small streams in dehradun they were so clean we used to go out fishing we used to do a little bit of boating and floating and even swim around in those rivers without any fear today i can't even imagine putting my hand into that river because of so much of pollution to that river what have we done to ourselves so i would rather go on to the ethics part of it yes we must think global but i think we must act local we keep talking about greening we keep talking about pollution but we do nothing every day i see when i go and drive in my car i see people drinking water in this pet bottles and then throwing it out of the car anywhere you see any lake anywhere mulshi any other lake you will see lots of these bottles cans and used stuff floating in the air and all that stench that comes from there what are we doing about it so all i can say is being a layman instead of talking about environment in high terms i think locally we need to do something and in your own small way i think you can contribute a lot if every one of us each one of us are very conscious and we teach our families not to do these things and not to repeat those mistakes which people have done earlier perhaps we can contribute in a big way and this thing will spread but like someone brought it out in the previous panel the gen next they are much more aware than us i think they have been very well educated because the effects are now showing the warming is there and you can see how hot it is in pune these days supposed to be a pensioners paradise once upon a time my father always thought of settling down in pune no fans nothing those days and today you are looking for the best air conditioner and instead of a one turner you are buying a 1.5 turner because you want it to be cooler that is the state we have brought ourselves to and the next thing that i would like to say is the discipline part being a true and a full blooded foji i feel this is one thing that is lacking we may talk we may do anything but the biggest thing missing in us is discipline if we are disciplined self disciplined i can assure you half or even 75% of our problems will be gone so let's think globally let's act locally and let's do something about it rather than just giving lip service that's all i have to say thank you